good morning it's uh december 2nd i think and uh i'm down in my happy place uh down at huntington beach uh we're just sitting here i'm just sitting here absorbing some morning sun and uh again kind of reflecting uh huntington beach has always been something super special to me with my mother who just recently passed and uh, she used to start bringing me down here back in the 70s. And uh, I remember going to like Jack's with the wood floors and the single story thing and you know, going underneath the pier and watching all the long hairs with their surf or their skateboards and their bikes and stuff. And just was a super cool vibe back then. And then she started dating some dude that lived in Seal Beach and had a little cottage a um, couple blocks off of Main Street. And so for a while we came down and visited him on a on, you know, frequent basis or semi-frequent basis and got to really love Seal Beach and uh, spent a lot of time body surfing and uh, boogie boarding and getting pounded into the uh, shore there. and. Uh, so this whole thing just means the world to me to come out here and kind of reflect and think and remember some of the best times uh, back then with my mom. Uh, and then she would bring my friends with me sometimes too, so we'd come down here. Yeah, sometimes we'd go to Disneyland or something stupid, but, but she always brought us to the beach and just loved the beach and probably one of my loves for the beach comes from her. So uh, we're just, uh, V's just kind of waking up and I always come out in the mornings first and kind of come out here to meditate. Uh, kind of makes you uh, think about how nice it is down here. Uh, we're on a secret mission that you'll find out about in a couple days, uh, which is gonna be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so for this last, uh, this last week or so, man, I've been going through uh, pictures, just tons of pictures. And, uh, you know, obviously I live for my pictures. So uh, a lot of pictures had times down to the beach. <laughs> and those pictures mean the world. And, uh, and I'm throwing them away. And that's a weird feeling for me. Um, I am not gathering things anymore, especially when we have the technology to save them digitally. Uh, although nothing replaces the feeling of picking up an old square, I don't know what, three by three or whatever, so old ass picture that's written on the back and it's a little curled up and it's a little yellowed out. You don't get that feeling when you click on it on a computer screen. And that's one of the reasons why I kept things for so long. But I'm not keeping shit anymore. I'm not weighing myself down with things, you know. I've got a stack of old cool magazines and stuff. I'm calling my buddy John up. I'm just going to give them to him. I'm going to I got some old Volkswagen toys left over from my old collecting days and I'm going to give them to one of my Volkswagen buddies that I like. Uh Nick, I kind of like you mm, kind of, but you're going to get my toys. And uh just uh, just clearing out, almost clearing out stuff like if you were knowing that you had an end coming. And I don't, and I, I think I've had a few people ask me that, that like if there's something wrong or you know, what, why, why this change of uh, wanting to get rid of everything, kind of like somebody does when they find out they're sick. I don't want to wait till that point. I don't want to wait until a difficult situation to get rid of my things. I want to get rid of them at my leisure I want to make sure they go to the right people. I don't want to burden my kids with my stuff whenever that ends, you know, and hopefully my life won't end for another 20 years, but it could end next week, you know? And then I also digitized a whole bunch of family pictures and stuff like that and sent links out to all my family uh, that's left and they got to access these great pictures of my dad and my mom and my cousins when they were kids and my aunt and uncles. All these pe pictures and half the people are, are gone now and so their their offspring can enjoy them now. It's fucking awesome, man. I love it to where like these pictures were sitting in boxes two weeks ago for the last 30 years and now they're on the internet and my family can view them and that's just amazing. And, uh, and then I also, <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed, 
I've uploaded an ass load of pictures to Facebook this week from all the shows from like the 80s and 90s. Again, these pictures, I, I would I would like take pictures of pictures and like throw them up every once in a while, but there's no way I could scan the thousands of, of pictures that or uh, take pictures and post the thousands of pictures that I did this week without this little scanner that I got. And, uh, dude, it took so many people down memory lane. I love when people say, hey, you got my, like, like Skim said he, I took a picture of his car when it had cookies on it, on his convertible, and he'd never seen that, I never had a picture of his car with cookies on it. I live for that shit, man. I love when people tell me that I never had a picture of something of, that I have, and it brings back a little happiness, you know, or a picture of uh, Randy Carlson uh, in his van again, or his Euro van, <laughs> in the middle of bad camber you know just the, the nose of his van or his euro van sticking out in a sea of split windows knowing that there's a story behind that 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 was that was uh randy and the the uh, simple shoe guy i can't remember his name right now and uh just like it's, it's cool man it's super cool guys from all around the world you know uh, we're either at viva or bad camber or classic or jamboree whatever and they're like man i remember being there and that is just so cool so in between family and friends and enthusiasts and people I don't even know that are enjoying these pictures. It just feels so good. And every picture that I scan, I'm throwing into a bucket and I'm going to throw that bucket away. And it's, it, it literally weighs like probably 30 pounds right now because it's like a whole folding bin just full of, of pictures. And every picture I scan feels like one little less weight off my back because I've been shucking these pictures around for 30 years. I used to... You guys didn't know me back in the 80s and 90s, but what I would do is I would take pictures, double expose them, and I would put them all in photo albums. And then every time I would come to a cruise night, I would whip out the photo album. There would be like 10 photo albums on the on the table, and people would come and like look through the photo albums at stuff that we'd been to and cool stuff. That's how we shared pictures back then, you know? And I, I carried these photo albums around forever, and then they've been sitting in my closet now for the last 15 years because I don't bring them out. And so I literally put all, took all the pictures out of all the photo albums. I threw all the albums away, scanned all the pictures. I'm throwing all the pictures away. And this burden of storing and moving and storing and moving and kicking over shit and trying to, ah, it's maddening. And so uh, for me, I'm just clearing my clutter. Uh, and that, dude, that's emotionally, spiritually, <laughs> and physically, you know. So, um uh, so good, man. It's so good. And uh, so it comes back to finding pictures that, you know, of a little when I was a little kid at the beach and, uh, and you know, stuff my mom, I, I forgot she'd even taken pictures of. And, uh, and just reflecting upon everything, man. Life is a trip. Life is super, super short, man. And... Uh, one day you're going to get that phone call that nothing's ever going to be the same after that. And what you do between now and then is what matters. So live every day like it's your last. And don't make that feel morbid, man. Make it feel like a celebration that every breath you take is, uh, is a good breath. And every time you get to go to the beach is amazing. So we haven't been to the beach as much this year as in the past because we've just had a lot going on. And it's desolate. I mean, it's... There is nobody around at all. And I'm literally, you know, close to the pier and there's just nobody here. Um, it's very quiet down here in Huntington, obviously with everything going off with COVID, but uh, it just uh, feels so good and have your feet grounded into the sand and the sound of the ocean is just amazing. So. I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, I hope you enjoy your ride, and I hope you find your inner peace. I love you all. Peace out.